back to another video. Today's Saturday for me. And what is it? August 20th. This is crazy. This year has flown by. But welcome back. My name's Erica. If you're new here, today's video is going to be kind of, I'm hoping, <laughs> like a super busy knocking out a bunch of things I need to get done. I have a long list of things I want to get done this weekend and I thought it would be the perfect time to pick up my camera and give some motivation to you all out there in YouTube land. Uh, we all need motivation and I'm actually not feeling too motivated today so I'm going to do my best to just knock it out. Sometimes when I'm filming it it gives me more motivation to get it done so that I can get it out for y'all and you know. So I have a list of like small like house projects I want to get done today so I'll take you around and show you some of the things we're going to do. Marion's actually going to be doing a lot of it but uh, this is kind of one of those weekends where we don't have stuff planned. We've been so busy all summer. It's like every weekend we have stuff going on and we still have things going on like next weekend, the weekend after and I don't know. This was the weekend we just decided let's pick it. Let's let's knock these things out. Also I want to do some cleaning. I got a new carpet cleaner. It's just a really small simple uh, like to clean my rugs you know it's not I don't think made for like a whole house if your car house is carpeted I don't know if this would be enough to do the whole house but it will definitely do my rugs so I'm excited to try that out this weekend I also need to do like laundry and beds and mopping and sweeping and all those things so hopefully this video will be full of all that kind of cleaning motivation and the dogs are barking at the neighbors as usual all right we're back inside so um one of the things that we're going to do is put some trim along the kitchen countertops. That's just something that we needed to do. We should have done, but we didn't. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what we chose and all that. We'll do that this weekend. Marion is in the middle of building me like a custom cat window ledge there. So we're going to go out in a minute and get a few things for that. I'm going to show you that in another video, but it's hopefully going to be look a little better than that huge cat tower that's just kind of... Yeah, no. We're also going to be putting, when we built this, if you saw my living room redo, first of all, I, I sponge painted this brick. While I do love it on my porch, I don't love it in my living room. So that is going to be painted white. I'm just going to, I've thought about putting a shelf like, you know, kind of even with these shelves, like another shelf here. And once this is like painted white and just kind of plain, I might... I might want to put a shelf there. I haven't decided on that yet though. But we are going to put a, see how this has like this, the wood kind of separates right there. So we're going to put like a facing on the front so that it goes all the way across. Hopefully we'll make it look a little more finished. Something that I wanted to do when we put it up, but I wasn't exactly convinced I wanted to. So that's what, one thing we're going to do, work on that. And then this will, hopefully it will look a lot better. Also, Marion is going to make me some corbels to go in this doorway right here so I just have these shelf brackets I either got them at Walmart or Ikea and I stained them and I think they're so cute but I think that they're kind of small for that opening they're real thin and so I've been looking obviously corbels are so expensive I've looked at Hobby Lobby and Lowe's and Home Depot and they're all very expensive like $20 a corbel and I thought that's something that we could like totally make just get a few get a piece of wood, make a few cuts. Of course I say we, I mean Marion. Uh, Marion will make them because he loves doing that kind of stuff. Like he loves it when I give him little projects like this. And I love it. So I'm like, can you make me some corbels? And then I will paint them and then you hang them up and they're gonna look so much better than those. So that's another thing we're gonna be working on this weekend. Also, like I said, I got a carpet cleaner. So I'm gonna be cleaning my carpets. I gotta figure it out though, I haven't uh, figured it out. I only unboxed it, but I am going to have to figure this out. And of course, I'll let you see me use it. I'll link it below. I got it on Amazon. It was less than a hundred bucks. It's kind of like a little mini carpet cleaner. Also look at my recyclables. Look at my recyclables. <laughs> Thankfully I have this gigantic pantry because it's really not in the way. We can still walk in, get what we need, but that is first on the agenda is to take all of the recyclables, drop those off. We're going to run to Walmart, get a few groceries, just, uh, this is just my in-between, you know, I did my big grocery shopping last week and I'll do it again next week, so we'll just grab a few things and uh, then hopefully get home and start working on this stuff. Madison has my white paint and she doesn't get off work till three, so I can't get my white paint until this afternoon, so hopefully I can get the rest of it done. I don't know, this is gonna go over two days, so what I don't get done today, we'll have to get done tomorrow.
right, what an afternoon. We're home. <laughs> We're home, it is, it is 3.45, <laughs> We ended up having to wait Got a few extra places where we're waiting for Madison to get home, so I went and got my white paint. Um, I'm gonna unpack the few things we got from Walmart, and then we're gonna, Marion's bringing the wood inside. He bought the wood for the cat tower thing. He's putting that in the basement, and then we're gonna work on the kitchen, um, the trim around the cou countertop, so I'll show you that in a second. I gotta remember where I put the liquid nails. We bought liquid nails and caulk a while back when we bought the trim. I can't remember what I did with that. Right, so Miriam moved to the microwave. We're gonna put, are we putting it here too? I think we got enough to do here. We're gonna put this trim along here because when we caulked this, when we redid our kitchen, um, we, we put caulk on it and it has like, what's the word, shrunk? I didn't realize caulk. It's almost like drywall. Could yeah. shrink, but see this is what it looks like. So it almost looks like we didn't even put caulk on it. So we should have probably put the, trim on it when we did it but we caulked it and anyway Marion has started without me but he's he's just what are you doing just scraping just this off wow the trim is downstairs we're gonna bring it up in a second but he's just gonna use liquid nails to put it on there and then we have some of this caulk we wanted to make sure that it was waterproof and it is scrubbable so that we can you know because up here water splashes up here a lot we want to make sure there's no water that gets behind a beadboard, but if you didn't watch my kitchen remodel, we put beadboard as our backsplash. Beadboard is super inexpensive, way cheaper than tile, and if you like the look, I think it's very, you know, farmhouse look. I love older things. I love things to look kind of older, so I love it, but I know it's not for everyone, but it's a really great economical way to put up a backsplash. This is where it's the worst because it's right behind the sink and it got started to get water damage on it. And that's why I was like, we've got to put the trim on it. All right, this is what we're gonna use. We just got this at Home Depot and it's got like a, the top is flat and then it's rounded all the way down to the bottom. So I think we're, you think you set it like this, you know, with the flat side down and then we'll caulk the top of it. But these were around, they were less than a dollar a foot, 60 or 70 cents per linear foot, Marion says. All right, he has them cut and just put on there that nothing is glued. On this side, like, I don't really love this, but we need to, we're, we're gonna, see, you can see the, how the caulk is cracked. We need to like fill that in with caulk again. And then we're gonna actually have to do the top and the bottom of these, and we did not buy enough caulk, so. <laughs> of course, we're gonna have to get more caulk, but um, I'll just have to run to Walmart and pick up another one today or tomorrow. But he's just gonna use liquid nails. I think this is enough of this to go along the trim. And then uh, he said something about nailing in the corners. I'm not sure if he's gonna, or yeah, nailing those in to hold it, I'm not sure. But it is gonna look definitely much more finished. And it will protect the, the beadboard from getting water.
All right, so he went ahead and put brads all the way down them, obviously, or like small nails, just because our wall is kind of wonky and in some places there was a little gap. So he just wanted to make sure the whole thing was secure. So unfortunately, you can see those little tiny holes. So we can either paint them or caulk them or something. But we did not buy enough caulk, so, but he wants to let that dry before he caulks it anyways. So that is that for now. We'll have to go buy some more of that. And also I pulled out my joint compound to fill a couple little holes. And one is like totally dried up. And then this one, I think it's, it's real like thin. So I'm gonna try and use it, see if it works. If not, we'll have to get more. But there's a couple, we had it used to have a shelf hanging here and so there's a few holes i'll show you close up from where the nails were in the wall the screws were and i want to fill those in let that dry totally before i paint it so marion's gonna make my corbels and i told him basically just like the same size as these what is that 11 it's almost 11 it's just shy of 11 and then but it but with two by fours instead of this you know thin bracket so they'll be a lot thicker and chunkier and i just think it will be better for this large doorway i think it will look better so we just got a regular two by four and i think he measured 11 it's me 11 inches so it'll just be like an l shape and then one piece connecting he'll nail them all together for me and then i'll be able to stain them and then i'm going to paint them and distress them and hopefully they'll look a lot better than the little ones up there now. So this is, I guess, what he's got done so far. Trying to make the angle now for the inside piece. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna stay and work on those and I'm actually gonna go to the movies. We're gonna go to the movies, Patrick and I, we're gonna see E.T. And of course we've seen it a hundred times, literally, but it's always fun when it comes to the movie theater. And you gotta have Reese's Pieces when you watch E.T. So, Patrick loves movies, so um, I thought it would be fun. So, since he's at a good point where he's just going to be working on that, there's nothing I can really do at the moment. I'm going to go, and then um, tomorrow, probably, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll paint this. I need to let that spackle really dry, though. And then in the kitchen, we have to wait and let the liquid nails dry, so we can't do the caulk. So, yeah, for now... We're at a good stopping point, at least I am, so I'm going to go to the movies. And then tomorrow we'll finish all the rest. I'm going to have a busy day tomorrow. So I was about to leave, but Marion brought the corbel up. Look how pretty. It's going to be beautiful when it's distressed. Yeah. See the difference between the two? Definitely like that. There's Patrick. We're headed into the movies. He's got a free hot dog on what? his app, and I got a free nacho on my app, so I know what we're having for dinner. <laughs> Real healthy. Mm. Reese's Pieces and nachos, but a free, free hot dog tastes better than a <laughs> than an expensive hot dog exactly. for sure. Anything free and tastes you know better. how expensive <laughs> hot dogs are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I couldn't bribe anybody else to come with us. Just just Patrick and I. It'll be fun. But I'm we're happy children. To be here. We're children of the '80s, so That's true. we appreciate. E.T. more than like my children. They really don't yes. appreciate it like we do. All right, just like that, I'm back from the movies um, and Marion finished the corbels. So I'm gonna go ahead tonight and stain them. That way tomorrow when the, the stain is dry, then I can go ahead and paint them. I'm gonna paint them white and distress them. I think they're so pretty. And this is literally the cost of a two by four. He did perfect with the cuts, but I'm going to use this honey, Minwax honey stain, and just stain them really good, let them dry overnight, and then paint them tomorrow.
stain is done. They look beautiful just like that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to still paint over them, but they are so, so pretty. It is now Sunday afternoon. It's already like 1.30, but we are working, finishing up projects. I know, as soon as I pick up my camera, I know. Um, we are finishing up what we started yesterday, so Marion's downstairs. He's actually making a little adjustment to the corbel, but I decided I wanted, I'll show you in a second, but he's down there cutting a little, just a little bit, and they're gonna be so pretty. And then we got the caulk for the kitchen, so that's gonna be the next thing. So yeah, we're just gonna continue what we were doing. I've got a lot of little projects to finish and I've also got laundry going. I'm on my second load. Um, I've got my sheets in the dry wash. No, they're in the dryer. So I've uh, got a lot of cleaning to do today. Okay, so here's the corbels. I just had them cut off the corners of each one. Obviously they're not sanded right there, but I just thought it gave it a more, I'll show you the picture that I looked at that gave me the inspiration. All right, I'm just gonna paint these white. I went ahead and painted the trim that's going to go up here. It's just a piece of wood. I painted white. Didn't film it. <laughs> but Marion's going to do the caulk now. So he'll be doing that while I'm painting. I also just heard my dryer quit. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out the laundry before I start painting. Played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back. after I painted them that I don't need to paint the outside pieces because these are going to be against the wall so I'm not going to worry about doing any kind of second coat on those but I kind of went over and did a little bit thicker coat I don't know that I'm going to do any more just because I'm going to be distressing them anyway uh, but I'm going to go ahead and move these out a little bit just so I can paint this little area right here white and the spackle that I put on yesterday it's all dry and everything so Barefoot. 
So Marion's done with the caulk in here, but he said he has to go back and sand when it's dry, right? Right. So it's not fully finished yet. And then when it is, I can put my kitchen back together. my carpet so I wanted to show you this this is not sponsored or anything about this with my own money just a simple I wanted just a simple like rug cleaner since I don't have carpet all over my house this is the power dash pet carpet cleaner by Hoover sorry if it's blurry it came with this deep clean and neutralize paws and claws carpet cleaner so I'm just gonna use this today and eventually when I need more I'll buy um, another thing of it but it came with a little sample so it seems pretty simple to use just fill the clean water tank when you're done you empty the water dirty water tank I've used those really expensive dirt devil dirt devil rug doctor that you can rent and I spend like 40 to 50 dollars each time I rent them with the cleaner and I thought you know what I just need to invest in a small simple one so I'm going to go ahead and just vacuum my rug really good and I'm only going to clean my living room rug today but I'm probably going to also clean like my bedroom and under my table eventually but just today I'm going to do the living room rug. Had really good reviews, lots of reviews and really good reviews. I always re read the reviews before I buy something but this is linked in my Amazon shop if you're interested. So you know the drill when I get out the vacuum. Here we go. <laughs> you got to attack it. You're a little dramatic, Oliver. I know that I haven't been who I was I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to Yeah, just give me one more 
chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to know that I'm lost without you, I'm not Well, I would say it was dirty <laughs> and it did a good job. I only had to fill it once for this one rug, so I feel like that was pretty simple. It did get a lot of stuff in the in the roller, as you can see. There's all kinds of stuff, but that just means it sucked it up out of the carpet, so that's good. So I know this is pretty disgusting, but this is what I got out of the front of it where the scrubber was. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like it did a good job. I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to know that I'm lost So I'm definitely liking the couch a lot more And you can see if you saw my video where I showed you like the difference in the lighting from how it was when he posted it to when I bought it And it's more yellow in, my, in the lighting in my house But that was also taken at night So during the day you can see it doesn't look so... I don't know it does still look yellow but it doesn't look as much yellow and I really like it with the gray and the green so I'm starting to really love it actually and it's so cozy and so comfortable compared to what we had um, it does sometimes have little hairs that it attracts so I have a lint roller and I just you know do this on the brush on the uh, cushions for a good hour hour and a half I'm trying to get that done and my corbels are dry now so I'm gonna go ahead and sand these and once we do that then I will work on dinner uh, what is dinner tonight oh yeah I'm gonna make breakfast for dinner I want to make cheesy eggs toast and bacon I asked Marion he says start with 220 and then I have a 150 so I'm gonna start with this one and then if it's not taking enough off then I'll go down to the to the 150 so I'm a little nervous but I know it's gonna be fine That wasn't quite working. It wasn't taking enough off. So I used, I'm out of breath. I was like sanding it. He has, Marion has a sander, but um, he gave me like 80 grit and that really took a lot more off. So I'm gonna take this one downstairs and show you the other one looks really good. So the fan's on, so it's kind of loud, but this is what I was wanting. So I just need to brush it off, but it looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I don't know which side is going to be against the wall and which side is going to be showing, but yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. there they are they're beautiful can't wait to get them hung up they turned out exactly like I wanted Marion you're amazing he's working on like I said the cat tower but um, he also if you saw my basement <laughs> video he put this tarp up that way my stuff over there doesn't get sawdust all over it time to make dinner I'm gonna make 
cheesy eggs. I um, watched a YouTuber, her name is Alicia. Her channel's called Doherty Dozen and it's not spelled like that. It's like D-O-U-G-H-E-R-T-Y. But she has a lot of crazy things going on in her family. But like I love her cooking and like meal prep videos. And she has 12 kids currently. She's, she's fosters and adopts and all that. And so she's always cooking for like a ton of people. And I've gotten a couple really good recipes from her. And she always makes cheesy eggs for them. And it looks so good. So I've been making them lately. And they are just so good. Like, you know, when you make scrambled eggs and you put cheese on top, it's different than if you you add the cheese like a minute or two before you take them out of the pan and just like mix it in and the cheese all melts. And it, I don't know, it just tastes different. <laughs> it just tastes different. But it's so good. So I'm just going to make cheesy eggs for dinner and some bacon and some toast. Make it simple-ish. And then I'm going to actually put my kitchen bag together. Marion says it's going to be a 24 hour. He needs to wait 24 hours to before he can sand down the caulk. Right when the eggs are done is when I add the cheese, like right at the end. I don't want them to be raw at all. Just add a bunch of cheese. a thumbs up and you might be thinking that's just eggs with cheese but <laughs> it is different it's like a different sorry for the the lights always adjusting um it's a different consistency it's so good and you maybe y'all have been making that forever but just the way that alicia does it i thought that sounds really good and i i've actually been making my breakfast that for me for breakfast for like a week and it's just so good with toast and so i just made it tonight with the bacon very good but dinner's done and the kitchen's a mess again so i'm gonna go ahead and do this marion is downstairs working and i'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna put the corbels up because they look so good i'm so excited and finish the tv and i've got to continue doing some more cleaning before i can get in there and finish editing outside my window is everything pale and cold? Can't seem to pick up my phone. It's been ringing all day long. Behind these clouds, I know the sun will be. But today's raining, so be patient with me.
so excited. Oh my goodness, my battery's flashing. I have gone through two batteries today in this video and I'm not even done. It's gonna be a long video, but you probably know that by now. definitely finishes it off. I need to paint the end right here because he had to cut it after I painted it, which I knew I was gonna have to without just take a second, but can't decide if I wanna put a shelf there or just put like a, I don't know, some hang something or just leave it empty. Now I'm gonna sweep and mop my floors. I have a my new vacuum. I don't think, I don't really like it for the hard floors. I think sometimes it like spits stuff out the back. You know how vacuums will do that? So, you know, I love my broom. I'm gonna just sweep all the floors and I'll vacuum the rugs, obviously, and mop. And then I gotta finish editing because it's almost eight o'clock and yeah, it's been a long day, but a long weekend. And this video is probably super long, but hopefully full of all the motivation that you need. Oh, God. 
Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page to be someone else I would and let go of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious that I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace I know this was a long one. I hope it motivated you. I hope it wasn't too long. I could, I used to do these like kind of all day clean, clean with me in one day and it's just too much. Tomorrow, actually, I will be 48. It's my birthday tomorrow and I can't do what I could do even five years ago. It's almost my fifth year uh, YouTube anniversary and I can definitely feel it, but this was over two days so it was fine and it wasn't like a deep cleaning or, or anything, but it was so nice to get those things checked off my list. Now I can move on to new projects, new house projects. And definitely things just needed to be clean. My floors definitely needed to be clean. So it feels good. But I hope that this gave you all the motivation you needed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this whole weekend. It is now Sunday night. Oh, what time is it? Almost 9 o'clock. I got to get in there and finish editing to get a video up for you guys. Because tomorrow's my birthday and I do not want to edit on my birthday. So I need to get it done tonight so that I can be off tomorrow. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You know, I love you guys and I appreciate you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.